Ivan Marchuk. That was the name listed in the Daily Telegraph's Top 100 Living Geniuses in 2007. He was born in 1936 to a very poor family. He did not have access to supplies and painting materials, so instead he used pigments from flower petals and grass and fruit to create paintings. As it was mandatory during that time, of course, he made illustrations for the Soviet Union. Also during that time, he experimented and tried to uh, create and find his own style. And of course, this is also the period of time when he was heavily prosecuted by the KGB. You see, the Soviet authorities were deeply concerned with his use of dark colors, uh, which, in their opinion, did not go along with the social realism. Unfortunately, Ivan Marchuk was never interested in following their rules. Another part of him that was concerning to the government was that he came from Lviv, he was speaking Ukrainian and he painted Ukrainian public figures. So, as a lot of artists of that time, he was denied any recognition, he was shunned, he was shoved back, until he felt forced to immigrate. And no matter where he went, he continued creating his, his paintings. The range of his styles is very impressive. He has painted in the primitivism style, hyperrealism, abstractionism, abstract expressionism, surrealism, and abstract surrealism. Ivan Marchuk even has created his own technique that is called plantanism from the Ukrainian word plantate, which means to weave, interwine, thread. In this style, you apply the paint in very, very thin colored lines that connect at different angles, creating these ethereal vision. His style is almost impossible to replicate because of how intricate and detailed it is. Throughout his whole career, which is already 60 years long. He has held nearly 200 solo and collective exhibitions. His paintings are recognized worldwide and his genius is truly appreciated in every corner of the world. Hello, my name is Katarina and welcome to the Ukrainian Depth series. Okay, if you are the person who needs to click off Feel free to, because that's the educational part of the video. You know, my, my previous video is kind of hard to just move on from. As you know, you probably have not seen it, which is good, but I realized that if I have a chance to draw people's attention, I might as well draw it to something that matters, to people that matter. So instead of just sitting here and telling you how hard my life is and how complicated it is and how just painful everything is, I thought that I might as well just create series on the Ukrainian art and just show you and tell you about what I was raised on, what is the most precious and wonderful and talented people that create our culture and that are definitely worth your time and um, attention. Uh, so, to be honest, uh, I got this idea for these series and I decided I would uh, paint the artists and, you know, um, tell about them and uh, uh, tell about their styles, tell about their works, tell about how influential they are. And what I found when I stumbled across the Ivan Marchuk's paintings, I was blown away. I was... it was crazy. Mm. He is truly a genius, he is truly a gigantic inspiration for me. And um, I, tr I, I considered trying to paint him in his own uh, style, but as I already told you about this, mm, 
Dantanism is a very complicated technique and to be honest I'm not sure I could ever master it so I decided I would just use my own um, style you know just paint him in my own style and talk about him and you know so we can maybe celebrate it together instead of just trying to replicate what he does to be honest I loved making this painting. It was just so fun. It's been my big painting, like, you know, the big canvas in quite some time. So it was just so nice to come back to it at first. You know, I was not sure where I was going with it. Uh, I used a lot of pastel colors to create his part of the portrait, uh, but I did not want it to be just like, you know, pastel cute colors because once again, that's, for example, not something that he does in his art. And also I realized that I also do not relate to just something that is colorful, something that is like, you know, rainbowy and mm, like fluffy. And that's something I want to also move away from because I just don't feel like it represents my style and it fits what I'm trying to communicate with my art. So you can see on this side, and this is the mixture of uh, acrylic paint. So underneath there are layers of acrylic paint and on top of them, or the oil pastels and that was so much fun to do I am definitely bringing oil pastels into my future works because I truly love them and how saturated they look how like a big contrast to just the, like you know the muted and very gentle background to the uh, even the portrait itself they create such a beautiful contrast and at some point I also realized that I did not paint a, an ear for our wonderful painter. So uh, this is actually uh, just a piece of paper that I just, you know, quickly sketched a little ear on and then just glued it on. And I also used quite saturated, quite deep colors, very saturated, very visible to kind of contrast and kind of tie it together. And to be honest, I really love this piece. I'm not here to toot my own horn or anything, but I just loved every second of creating it. I loved just, you know, pure experimentation. Um, it's like I had this inspiration to just experiment and just try something out. And it was just such wonderful fun. And I really, truly love how it turned out. Um, if you look at the light, like, you know, against the light, you can see every, every little, you know, bit uh, of pigment that the oil pastels left, you know, and it creates such a beautiful texture, you just kind of, like, want to get your hands on it, but definitely would not recommend because you're gonna just get dirty. And, uh, you know, it's such a big contrast to just the smooth part, uh, which is just the portrait. And my favorite part about all of this is that it's actually a recycled canvas, which my landlady actually just left me because she just, I guess, made a painting, did not like it. Uh, so I just repurposed it and you can see the texture even from the previous art and I think it's just, I love it. I love it even more. I love recycling canvases. I love reusing them. I love kind of like layering the painting. It just uh, seems <laughs> very very fun to me so uh, yeah that's also a wonderful part of it yeah so um, that's it that's the introduction to the Ukrainian depth series where I will be exploring and painting and talking about Ukrainian artists and musicians and whoever you know the Bohemian Who the fuck do you think you are? So, um, hope you also enjoyed it and uh, hopefully you'll come for the future episodes. So, that's it. <laughs>